but that is pose the question how can you scientifically prove the existence of god almighty the existence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to especially to an atheist you ask this atheist that suppose there is an object an unidentified maybe a flying object which no one in the world has seen no human being in the world knows about this object if it's brought in front of you and if you're asked that who will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of this unidentified object you have to ask him the question who is the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of this new object which no one in the world has seen after thinking for a while he'll give the answer the person who will be able to tell you the mechanism the first person is the creator of that object some may say manufacturer some may say producer whatever they say don't grapple with the word accept it it will be somewhat similar either creator or producer or manufacturer but remember what he has told you keep it in your mind then ask him the next question how did the universe come into existence how was it formed he will tell you by the big bang theory tell him the quran mentions in surah ambiya chapter 21 verse number 30 about the big bang theory who could have mentioned this in the quran 400 years ago so he will tell you maybe it's a fluke don't argue with him next part of the question we did not know the light of the moon is reflected light we came to know recently you ask him he'll tell you, yes yes the light of the moon is reflected light it's not its own light when we discovered he will tell you recently yesterday 50 years back 100 years back yesterday in science you tell him the quran mentioned that the light of the moon is reflected light 1400 years ago who could have mentioned that maybe somebody had a wild guess don't argue with him continue we thought the sun was stationary you ask him is it stationary you say no it's rotating and revolving when you learn this he will tell you yesterday 50 years back 100 years back quran mentions this 1400 years ago he will hesitate but may say maybe some intelligent person wrote it don't argue with him continue how was the universe initially what is celestial matter he will tell you it was smoke how did you come to know we have got proof we have got evidence you tell him quran mentioned this 1400 years ago who could have mentioned that he will hesitate don't wait for response continue keep on posing question after question all that i given the lecture keep on posing one question after the other that what a cycle how do we come to know about it quran mentioned 1400 years ago about every living thing made from water who could have mentioned that quran speaks about botany the male and female who could have mentioned that pose one after the other and ask the question who could have written that then it tell him that there is a theory known as theory of probability that if you have two choice out of which one is right the chances that you will make the correct choice just at random is one in two for example if i toss a coin it can either be heads or tails the chances that i'll be right will be one in two if i toss it twice the chances that i'll be right both the times will be 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 2 that is 1 upon 4 25% chance if i toss it thrice chances i'll be right all three times 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 2 it's 1 upon 8 12.5% a dice has got six sides if i throw a dice the chances that at random i'll be correct is 1 upon 6 if i throw it twice the chances that both the time i'll be right will be 1 upon 6 by 1 upon 6 1 upon 36 this is called as theory of probability if i throw the dice twice and then toss a coin all three being right will be 1 upon 6 by 1 upon 6 by 1 upon 2 is 1 upon 72 so you ask him the chances maybe if you ask what is the shape of the earth there are various shapes some may say it is flat some may say it's triangular some may say it is hexagonal some may say pentagonal some may say heptagonal some may say square say there can be 10 shapes some may say it is round it is spherical 
the chances that if anyone makes a wild guess, it being correct is one upon ten. The light of the moon, it can either be its own light or it can be reflected light. The chances that you make a wild guess and it being correct will be one upon two. The chances that both shape of the earth and light of the moon being reflected light, both being correct, if you make a wild guess, it will be one upon ten multiplied by one upon two, it is one upon twenty. What can the living creatures be made of? Some may say sand, some may say stone, some may say aluminium, some may say gold, say a thousand materials you can name. Some may say water, some may say silver, a thousand materials. The chances that you make a wild guess, and one of them being right, according to mathematics, is one upon a thousand. The chances that all three being correct, the earth is spherical, light of the moon is reflected light, and every living creature created from water is correct, will be one upon ten, multiplied by one upon two, multiplied by one upon thousand. Answer comes to one upon twenty thousand, or point zero zero five percent. Quran speaks about scientific science more than a thousand verses. In three verses, the chance comes to 0.05%. If you apply probability theory to all this being at random chance, it will come to zero negligible. And in math, anything 1 in 10 raised to 50, it's equal to zero. So you ask your atheist friend, who could have written this?